Murtagh inspires Surrey collapse as Middlesex take control. The first two days of the London derby at the Keir Oval had been dominated with the bat. Middlesex had posted 347 thanks to Nick Gubbins' outstanding 192. It was another number three, Scott Borthwick, who had taken Surrey to 189 for three in their reply, as he ended the day on 73 not out and eager to reach his own milestone heading into day three. And it began where day two ended. Jamie Smith got in on the act for Surrey as he lofted down the ground for an early six, before he brought up his 50 with a four through the gully, the ninth of a 113 ball knock. Borthwick also found his groove early, picking up where he left off overnight. But Middlesex would eventually make the breakthrough as Borthwick mistimed his pull shot straight to Sam Robson at mid-wicket to fall an agonising eight runs short of his century. In came Ricky Clark. He lasted just nine balls, falling for one, caught down the leg side by John Simpson. In what proved to be a fruitful bowling spell for Middlesex, they struck again as the host lost a third quick wicket for just nine runs as Jordan Clark swung at Tim Murta's delivery. And in the final ball of the morning session, Middlesex had a fourth. Murtagh again doing the damage, leaving Dan Moriarty trapped plum to leave Surrey 269 for seven. After lunch, and it was more of the same from Surrey wicketkeeper Jamie Smith, bringing up 80 runs with a boundary. However, he would fall the very next ball, playing a Cummings delivery straight into the grateful arms of Nathan Souter. Murtagh would then spearhead a fine spell for Middlesex, first clean bowling Matt Milnes, who added just a single run, before he grabbed his five-wicket haul with the very next ball. Amar Verdi trapped LBW to skittle Surrey out for 282 and hand Middlesex a 62-run lead at the Oval. In response, Middlesex's openers continued to build a solid lead as Max Holden and Sam Robson brought up a partnership of 50 to finish on 61 without loss heading into tea. It didn't take long for Surrey to break through in the evening session as Max Holden edged to fall seven shy of a half century. Moriarty began to find some turn and bounce and Robson was caught behind for 31 as the visitors fell to 81 for two and Middlesex would struggle to cope with Moriarty's spin. Captain Stevie Eskenazi caught at short leg. From there, Middlesex would go on to create a sizeable lead. Nick Gubbins added to his first innings knock of 192 by notching up a score of 49 not out. Martin Anderson added a quick fire 35 not out from 37 balls. As Middlesex closed the day on 184 for three, in a lead of 249 going into the final morning.